The wait is over. Virtual Man has now released his version three of the popular retro pie build that he released just a about a month ago, a few weeks ago, and that was super well received. And here we go, an even more updated version, 128 gigabytes, running a recent version of RetroPie. We're on a green alicious theme right now, but you can change this out to any of the themes available for RetroPie. And uh, as you see, it's gorgeous, really beautiful. Total of 8,005 games. And uh, he did everything from 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, 2000. So there's a little bit of everything to be found here. Uh, like the previous one, it's got that updated Mad Little Pixel arcade set on there. And uh, even got a few Dreamcast games, five total, uh, or four, I'm sorry, because one is a Rycast. And we're rocking video snaps on here as well. So Gunbird 2, Shenmue, and Soul Calibur on the Dreamcast all running on there. You might have to set up your Rycast controls but um, that's really nice to see. And then there's a lot of other CD games in here that have been super compressed. So PlayStation 120 games. Um, there's also some Sega CD as well. So some of the bigger CD games are on here. Sega CD 52 games. It's not the entire dump, but it's, it's a lot of the great titles you're going to want to see. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, something that I like to see, Scum VM. Nice. Usually you don't see Scum VM. Nice to see some uh, Leisure Suit Larry, you know, some uh, Day of the Tentacle. That's all on here, ready to go. So for those of you wanting some Scum VM, some of the best of the best are on here. The Dig, a Lucas Arts game, really cool stuff, a lot of fun. And of course, one of my personal favorites. I'm sure it has Full Throttle on here as well. Gotta have Full Throttle. One of my favorite Scum VM games ever. But uh, let's have a quick look at what kind of collections we're looking at here, and then we'll dive a little deeper. So as I was mentioning, arcade collection, all up to date, all working. You're going to get your Street Fighters, your shoot 'em ups your side scrollers, all that stuff is going to be on here. The Simpsons, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mortal Kombat. Uh, it's going to have it on here. Really nice stuff. Battletoads, Contra, um, Galaga, uh, Pac-Man, uh, Tetris, Altered Beast. All those great, great classic games that you can't get on a console here in your RetroPie build. So nice to see. Um, it's about 119 gigabyte image, so most 128 gigabyte cards are going to fit, no problem. So as far as space restrictions, don't uh, worry about that. Atari 2600, 648, large collection here. Again, with those video snaps, looking really good. Metadata scraped, all ready to go. Let's make sure I'm not blasting your ears out here. Let's lower this up a little bit. It does have background music. I have disabled it for this video though. All you need to do is go to your file manager. Dreamcast, we already went over these four. Game Boy 562, you just go to your file manager and then go to RetroPie and then go to ROMs. And then within ROMs, there's a music folder. And uh, there's some Tron music on here. Some, um, you know, kind of gaming, more instrumental type music is on here. So it's very, it's not overwhelming. And I think the majority of people might actually like the music on this image, but Game Boy 562 total. Um, I want to see if there's any folders at the top. Okay, nope. Game Boy Advance 1037. So Game Boy Advance, there's a ton of great titles for it. I wouldn't say there's a thousand, but um, you know these don't take up an Im immense amount of space, and uh, there's a lot of time and uh, you can spend on some of these games. Um, they're pretty fun, pretty fun stuff. Sega Master System 271. Nice to see that. Sega Mega Drive 764. So quite a bit there. Spent a lot of time on that one. Nintendo 64, 25. Let's see what they got. 1080, Batman Beyond, Castlevania, Chopper Attack, Cruising USA. Cruising USA is not going to run very well on your Pi. Uh, Doom, Duke Nukem Oil, F-Zero runs just fine. Legend of Zelda, Mace, uh, Mario Golf, Mario Kart 64, Mario Party, Quest 64, Star Fox, Super Mario, Super Smash Bros, Worms, WWF, and Yoshi's Story to finish it off. Neo Geo 141, you got your Metal Slugs, your Art of Fighting, all those great games, Fatal Furies, all in here. Nintendo NES 781, so nice to see all these as well, all the classics. Port 6, so this is really cool, Brutal Doom was added to this, Duke Nukem 3D, Quake, and these are not the shareware versions, these are the full versions, so all the, all the episodes, all the levels are going to be here. Quake, Mission Pack 1, Mission Pack 2. These are set up for your PlayStation or Xbox style controllers. 
or you can get a keyboard and mouse, even better. But I know some of you are working on a TV, you don't want a keyboard and mouse in your living room. But for those of you that do have access to a keyboard and mouse, keep that in mind, because some really great PC games in there. Uh, there's, some, there's another game I'm looking very much forward to, which is this one right here, StarCraft Brood War. What a game. I grew up on this game. I love this game. I love StarCraft 2. The high, high level of gaming that it brings. One of the best real-time strategy games ever made. Uh, love it, love it, love it. I'm definitely going to be trying this out in a little bit. But uh, let's get back to the collections here. PSP Minis 290, and it does have 321 Super Crash. This game, I love this little game. This is my... <laughs> this is, for some reason, this is my kryptonite... I, I love ch checking this game out, but there's a lot of games in here, PSP minis, 90% uh, of them run from my experience. I'm sure this is a dump, a ROM pack that's been around, um, and if it's the same ROM pack I've seen around, there are a few games that are a little laggy on this system, but it's a nice collection to have. Again, a lot of little games you might not have discovered before, some fun little games on there. Um, I always think of them like like phone app type games. They're they're similar in that kind of play, gameplay and style and animation, and uh, they're, they're overall cool. Moving along, PlayStation 120. Wow, 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 wow. This is big. Considering if you were to do a PlayStation only build, you are only going to get close to 300 tops. So to see 120 PlayStation games, and you're still getting. Um, all your other consoles as well. Really cool stuff. Alone in the Dark, Alundra 2, Ape Escape, Armored Core, Asteroids, ATV Mania, Austin Powers, Pinball. So you pinball fans. Some nice RPGs in here. Battle, Battle Man, Battle Arena, Battle Tanks, Bio Freaks, really cool game. Uh, Blaster Master, Blasto, Bloody Roar 2, Good Fighters, Bomberman World, Bomberman franchise, good stuff. Breath of Fire 4, Broken Sword, Bubble Bobble, Bushido Blade, cool little uh, sword game. One of my viewers brought me onto that. Contra, very cool. C12, Castlevania, both of them on here. Championship Motocross, so cool little dirt bike game. Chocobo Racing, cool. So nice racing games. The other Contra game as well. Cool Borders, Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and 3, and Crash Team Racing. Darkstalkers 3, another cool fighter. Dead or Alive, cool fighter. Destruction Derby, Diablo, Doom, Duke Nukem, two of them. You have uh, N Hander, really cool uh, shoot 'em up. Everybody's everybody's golf. Fade to Black, Fear Factor, Fair Effect. I'm sorry, F FIFA, Soccer, Fighting Force, Final Doom, Final Fantasy VII, Frogger, Galaga, Gauntlet Legends, cool game right here. Gauntlet Legends, spend some time on that. Good to see Gran Turismo one and two. Oftentimes images either have one or the other. So cool that they're both on there. Gunner's Haven, Harvest Moon, Heart of Darkness, Hydro Thunder. In television classics, I, I don't really spend much time on that game, but nice to have the old schools on there. Legacy of Cain, really good game. Little Big Adventure. Lomax, cool adventure game. Martian Gothic, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX, Medal of Honor, Medieval 1 and 2. Mega Man 8, Legends 1 and 2, X4, 5, and 6, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Slug X, Mission Impossible, Mortal Kombat 4, Mr. Driller, Need for Speed 3, cool, a lot of good racing games on here, some uh, football and hockey, 1, uh, Golden Tee, so a couple of golf games for the PlayStation, R-Type, some more shoot 'em ups Raiden, Rayman, Revolt, Ready to Rumble Boxing, Resident Evil Single Racer, The Simpsons Wrestling, Wow, wow, wow. This, this is a really good PlayStation collection. So really a lot of work going into this one. Tekken 3, The Raiden Project, Tomb Raider, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, Toy Story Racer. I don't think I've ever played this game before. This looks awesome. Trickin' Snowboarder, True Pinball. So two pinball games so far. Warcraft 2, Wild Arms, and Wipeout XL. Scum BM, we had a look at that earlier in the video. So 52 of those. 32X, 32, that's about all of the second 32X. Sega CD 52. Um, there is one slight issue here that the uh, the ROM for the Terminator supposedly is missing or it doesn't work. Yeah, it's missing. So no Terminator. I know a lot of people like that game. I think I'm going to be all right. If I really want to play the game, I could just drag and drop the ROM through the network. Super easy to do. Super Nintendo, all your classics there. 784. 
like I said, Brood War, excited to try that one out. TurboGrafx-16, 94, so nice to see that. Vetrix, 26, and then back to the RetroPie. But we're not done yet. We still have custom collections. You have arcade old school collection, so all your really old school 8-bit uh, style arcade games, 8 and 16-bit, really cool stuff there. The classics, NES classic, so rather than going out and shelling out hundreds of dollars for the NES classic, you can get it here. And SNES Classic, same story, Star Fox 2, all those great classics for the SNES, all bundled together here. So really cool. Uh, there. Uh, in the Retro Pie menu, you got your background music uh, script, you got your hard drive add or remove script, and then all the other stuff here. If you want to download some additional themes, you can get that in Emulation Station Themes. And it's all running a recent version of Retro Pie. So, so far, no issues at all. Like I said, background music, I just disabled that. It does come with that. My controller was ready to set up to begin with. I didn't have to expand my file system. So, really, really good stuff. So, to get this started, let's play some games. I wanted to try out Toy Story Racer. And so, some of the PlayStation emulation. So, a lot of questions I get on these PlayStation builds is, you know, does the Pi even run PlayStation? Actually, it runs PlayStation better than it does Nintendo 64. Uh, especially, it just, it plays way more of the catalog plays it smoothly and uh, overall it's it's uh, it runs very well as you'll see here so it looks like it's the same company that made Tony Hawk oh, here we go oh, here we go now we got a missile okay okay here we go got a sign over here got him ooh missed him well, quick. You guys like Revolt? This is very much like Revolt. I like the bowling alley. Oh, you can drift these things pretty good. Look at that. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's pretty cool. These arenas are pretty big. Oh, boy. Is that homing in on me? Okay, that was good. Two knockouts. Got him. Got him. Nice. So as you can see, we had the PlayStation bezel. That looks great. That looks really good. Let's um, let's go back. Um, you guys have seen all these other systems uh, before. The Game Boy Advance. Let's just check out the um, the bezel really quick. Custom loading screen, and uh, this is one of my favorite ways to play the Game Boy Advance, the way the bezels are set up here. Look at that. You're not stretching the screen out. Nice, cool, very nice. So, this is how Game Boy Advance, I like it all set up. Let me use this. Oh, uh, just did it. So that's a switch that opens up this. Got me. There's another switch somewhere. All right, so that just about wraps it up. Really cool stuff. Uh, in my previous video, I checked out the ports. They're really cool. You have full. Uh, they work great with not only the gamepad or the keyboard, as I mentioned before. That's a nice little touch. A lot of images coming out. This would definitely make my 128 gigabyte RetroPie gaming images. It's just beautiful inside and out. All the collections are there. The bezels are set up for you. Um, it's got the scripts. It's a fast loading image. Uh, it's a version three. Anytime there's a new version of something, and the and the and the person, in this case, Virtual Man, makes improvements. Uh, there's there's good things to be had. There's good things to be done. Um, it wasn't just like a couple ROM fixes. As you saw, we got uh, Brood War installed. We got a different PlayStation set installed. We had um, some fixes done. Many, many different upgrades. Um, if you have version 2, is it worth upgrading? Maybe not. Um, you have to be the judge of that if you want a particular something. The version 2 is still killer in my mind. And so the version 3 is going to get an A as well because I really enjoyed the past one. And so this one to kind of build off of that really good stuff from um, virtual man himself i am told this is his last retro pie build 
Although I've heard many people say that in the past and they end up building more, but evidently he's gonna be working on some other projects in the meantime, so it won't be for a little while uh, to say the least. So as I was mentioning, A on this one, really solid, my top five. It's got everything set up for you, huge collections. Every, I mean, Dreamcast down to Atari, I mean, that's awesome. Um, the only things I don't see on here that you know some people might want is like Game & Watch or some of the more P older PC games like Commodore 64, things like that. But uh, this one has Scum VM. Um, you know, if you were born in the 80s or even the 90s, this is all your childhood memories in one. Um, but again, they got some Atari in there, so if you were born in the 70s even, there's some there's some love there, but I guess w this long rant was just saying that there are some old, old, old school consoles not on here. But with that said, to me, there's some of the best consoles on here, some of the more popular ones, if you will. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.